Y'all get ready. Yes, you get ready. This news in the streets. Join us and tune in for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So sell your friends and your family. It's the lovely TV show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely TV show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe. Hey, tea sippers. I hope you guys are doing good today. So, once again, Krishan Rock and Blueface are trending on social media. So, Krishan has been honest in the past that she had had three abortions, but now she's coming out and she's saying that she had those abortions because Blueface was saying he didn't want the kid, saying that he didn't want the baby and stuff like that. But now she's deciding to keep this child after having, you know, the three abortions. And the way she's speaking about it is just so casual. It's almost disturbing. Y'all go ahead and check out this video and I'm going to come back with the rest of my commentary. No, I screamed like, oh my God, fuck. What? Because at first I wasn't getting pregnant. He was not in me. We were trying. Because at first I was getting pregnant and then I aborted and shit. Like, ooh. You did a Three times. With him. So, I was just like, all right, we're not ready. All right, you don't want it? All right, cool. Then got to a point where he was like, he like, I want a family. I want a, I want a baby. I had my baby, blah, blah, blah. So he started uh, fucking the shit out of me crazy, like real crazy. So I started going on my knees too, like, Lord, can I get a baby? Like, I'm not gonna kill this one. So then I got pregnant, but in the midst of me getting pregnant, we're beefing and shit. I don't know. We're going through stuff like, I know you my baby. I don't want no baby with you no more. I'm like, yo, I already made up my mind. You made up your mind just because you changed your mind. Cause you mad. I'm not going back on it. So you wasn't going to let him change his mind. Then it started growing on him. And then when I got far along and we go through something else again, he like, can't wait. I'm like, bitch, I'm already five months. All right. So you guys just watched that video. Now, I'm not sure if this is all simply for a storyline. Um, you know, the constant talking of abortion, like it's just something so casual. And I'm not understanding why it's almost being promoted like birth control. If she got pregnant the first time and it was supposed to be an accident, then I can get that. Why not get on birth control after that? So that way there wasn't a second and third abortion. And now she's pregnant again, and he's clearly acting like he had nothing to do with the pregnancy. You know, for a while he claimed it wasn't his. She's saying that he wanted the baby. He wanted to start a family with her. And, I, you know, I'm feeling like all of these antics that they're both doing is simply to go viral on social media. It's simply for clout. It's simply for a storyline on Zeus Network. But the sad part is it has real consequences because you have a lot of young girls thinking that literally at this point, abortion is birth control. I can keep raw dogging this dude. It's not a big deal. I can just have an abortion. And then when I finally feel like having a child, I can get pregnant. When that's not the case, um, a lot of women who tend to have multiple abortions, by the time they wake up and they want to have a child, a lot of times it's very hard for them to get pregnant or their pregnancies tend to become even more high risk because they have effectively gone into their womb time and time again. And that can confuse the body where then the next time they get pregnant again, they're having miscarriages, and it's harder for them to keep a baby in their womb. So I want young girls to realize that this is not birth control. You know, things happen. You know, people do get abortions, but there's no need after you learn from your mistake the first time. There's no need to keep making the same mistake over and over and over again. They're talking as if these are not human beings that are being conceived. So it's really disturbing but after that video went viral, of course, Blueface had to top it. And so he decided to go live with his first baby mama, Jade and Alexis. And in that live stream, they're basically talking about, he's basically telling Jade and Alexis that she's going to watch their baby, that she's going to be the one to help raise the baby because he's not babysitting. Even though it's not her child, her and Krishan do not get along. But because she's the mother of his other two children, she needs to step it up and basically be a stepmom to this baby. So I want you guys to go ahead and watch this clip. This is going to go bad and we're going to adopt a child. I'm not going to watch the child, so you're going to be stuck with our child. I'm going to bring the baby to your house like they gave it to me. So now it's... You think I'm going to watch y'all? Child. Yeah. If we together. <laughs> you 
think I'm gonna watch y'all's child? No, yeah, I'm being serious now. You think you think I'm gonna watch I'm y'all? Fuck, she, fuck this internet shit. You she, think I'm gonna watch? She, you think I'm? No, no, no. Swear to God on everything I love. You think I'm gonna watch y'all's child? I think if she fucks up, and they say they're not, you're not physically fit to watch your child. It's either adoption or I take the child. Adoption. I'm gonna give it to you. Why would you ever give it to me? Because it's a free child that you'd have to push out and fuck up your body for. That's why. Why would All right, see, I just watched that clip. I think the part that kind of gets me is he says it's a free child that you didn't have to stress your body out for. They literally, between him and Krishan, and even Jaden Alexis, they literally talk about this baby like it's not going to be a living, breathing person in the next few years that will eventually grow up, see and hear all of this mess that their parents said about them on social media. I mean, the fact that he's so narcissistic that he thinks he can just pass over another woman's baby to his baby's mama is insane to me. Jaden Alexis has nothing to do with this situation, and she has every right to not want to raise their child. If she wanted another child, she'd go off and get pregnant by him again like she did with the last child that she just had. So the fact that he has no problem putting her in this position, going live, talking about it, he really thinks he has it like that. And the reason why he feels like he has it like that and that he's the prize is because both of these women have fought over him for years. And so now he feels like he can just do what he wants to do. And I think it's sad because it's not her responsibility to raise his child with another woman. That is Blueface and Krishan's responsibility. And the fact that they just casually talk about this is just really sad and I can only imagine what's going to happen as this child grows up and they see how they were conceived the fact that they're like the the fourth child after three abortions there's this baby mama that's being brought into the mix the whole situation is just sad and my thing is if he feels like she's so unfit to be a parent and she's so unfit to raise this child why keep having raw sex with her? This is where he takes no personal responsibility. She didn't get knocked up once, but four times. So at some point in time, you're the fool. You're a straight up clown. The fact that she keeps getting pregnant by you means that you're not using any protection. You're not, you know, talking to her about birth control. It's almost like he has no idea how these kids keep getting conceived. So I, I don't feel any ways about him. I think this whole situation is just selfish. And it's sad because at the end of the day, all of these children are going to be siblings. And the mothers have been beefing for years, but those kids have nothing to do with the drama. They're all going to be brother and sister. So it's really sad that it's gotten to this point where they're literally on social media calling this child a free child, you know, uh, you know, the fourth child after three other abortions, the way they just casually just talk shit about this baby is just insane. And the most, you know, sacred time for a child is in the mother's womb, you know, so you should be stress free and being around positive energy as much as possible because that baby is feeling all of this anxiety, strife, all of this drama, you know, um, so hopefully this baby doesn't come out with all types of issues just because of what's going on while this child is in the womb. Um, even over the weekend, Krishan ended up going on stage with uh, Glorilla and she was on stage dancing and twerking and everything else. So it's just very interesting to just sit back and watch this whole dynamic play out. But it's really sad that a lot of young people think that this is the way to go. And it's it's so not. It's so not. And I, the only people I feel bad for in this situation at this point is that unborn child. So with that being said, go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on this entire situation. How do y'all feel about what Krishan had to say about, you know, all these abortions and her and Blueface planning this baby? And then how do you guys feel about what Blueface was telling Jade and Alexis? So I look forward to reading y'all's comments. Make sure you guys put a like on the video. Feel free to share the video. Most importantly, make sure you're still subscribed to the channel. And I will talk to y'all later. Deuces. If you want the latest news in the streets, join us and tune in for the tea. Breaking news with integrity, so sell your friends and your family. It's the Lovely Tea TV Show, bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the Lovely Tea TV Show, be sure to share, like, and subscribe.